Hey everyone, it's Rec coming out with a brand new video. Today I'm gonna be bringing you guys the ultimate mouse optimization guide for Windows and gaming. This guide is going to ensure that you guys have a true one to one mouse to pointer precision and making sure your movements inside of the Windows and games is true one to one response. This is also gonna make sure that your mouse is not inputting or outputting any movements or information that you have not instructed it to. This guide should also reduce input lag and fix any lag or stuttering that you could be having with your mouse or any issues that you have with your mouse in general. This guide is super important especially for competitive gamers as this will allow you guys to use your raw inputs to get the best accuracy. This is also one of the first things that I recommend doing when installing a new windows or after any new updates. So without any further ado guys, let's get straight into the video. So yeah guys, starting off with the video, we are gonna be changing some mouse settings to reduce input lag, disable acceleration and increase the overall precision and accuracy of our mouse pointer. So go down to your start menu and search for mouse settings. Go ahead and click on it. Once it opens up, go into the additional mouse options. We are gonna be using this tab so we can close out of this one. Then go to the pointer options. Then go ahead and slide this bar all the way to the left. Then use your keyboard arrow keys and we are gonna be moving it towards the right 5 times. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so that we are on the 6th bar right here. And also make sure to uncheck enhance pointer precision. If you guys don't know what acceleration is, it's basically whenever you do a short flick or anything like that, your mouse will go a little further than your target which is really annoying for most of the competitive gamers. So these settings are greatly gonna help you guys. So go ahead and use these and then click on apply. Then click on ok and we are done with the first step. For the next step guys, go ahead and go down into the description of this video and you will find a link to the mouse optimization pack. Just go ahead and click on that link which will take you to this website right here. Just click on the download button. It's gonna take you to upload hub then you have to wait for 5 seconds and then click on download now which is gonna download this pack right here so go ahead and extract it using winrar or 7zip then open up this folder you will find these two things inside of this first is the registry optimizations and the second one is the timer resolution go into the registry optimizations folder and for all of these registries, you will need to check your scaling and layout size. To do that, go down to your desktop, right click on it and go to display settings. Then check your scale and layout. And it should be 100% for most of the people. Just check whatever it is and then you can close out of this. Go ahead and use the registry file which matches your scale and layout size. For me, I had 100%. So I'm just gonna choose the 100 one. If you guys have anything above or below 100, go ahead and use that. And then go back into the mouse optimization folder and copy time resolution to your desktop. Then you can delete this mouse optimization folder. For the time resolution app, open it up and then click on maximum you guys will see that it will change your current resolution from a millisecond to two half a millisecond this right here is gonna help you guys reduce the input lag and also fix any mouse lag or stutters that you might be experiencing with your mouse then go ahead and minimize it make sure that it's running when you are playing the game and after you are done playing your game go ahead and open it up again click on the default button and then you can close out of this Next up guys, we are gonna be disabling the mouse acceleration within the games that you play. For most of the games, you will have an option to disable mouse acceleration or disable pointer acceleration within the game settings itself. But for Fortnite, the game which I play mostly, we have to manually change that in the config file. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that for Fortnite. For most of the other games, you guys can simply go ahead and go into the options and disable mouse acceleration from there. But in case of Fortnite, go down to your start menu and search for percentage, local, app data, percentage and then open it up. Go ahead and go to the Fortnite game folder, save, config, go into the Windows client and then right click on the game user settings, 
click on properties and make sure that read only is unchecked then click on ok right click on it again and click on edit and then we are looking for b disable mouse acceleration as you guys can see it's right here go ahead and change it to true because it says be disable mouse acceleration instead of enable mouse acceleration so just go ahead and change it to true then click on file click on save and then you can close out of this just go ahead and make sure to right click on it again going down to properties and then check read only hit apply hit ok and now you can close out of this for the next step, go ahead and go down to your start menu again and search device manager. Open it up. Then go ahead and go to the mice and other pointing devices. Right click on your mouse and click on update drivers. Search automatically for updated driver software. And make sure that your drivers are up to date. Then you can click on close and you can close out of this as well. So yeah guys that's basically it for the optimizations. Some other things that I would recommend doing are changing your USB ports. If you are using the front USB ports for your mouse consider using the back USB ports or if you are using the back USB ports consider using the front USB ports. Also make sure to unplug any unused USB devices for example unused keyboards, controllers, speakers or anything like that because sometimes those things can cause input lag by interfering with the other USB devices such as your mouse and keyboard. So go ahead and try those. Also guys make sure you, that you guys go ahead and join my discord server. We are creating a new gaming community right here and if you guys have any questions there are a lot of people who will answer your questions and solve your problems. So go ahead and join the discord link will be in the description. So yeah guys that's basically it for this video. If this video helps you guys in any way shape or form be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for future content. Leave any questions or suggestions that you have in the comment section down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then stay awesome.